Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a prefab box look more like it's designed to be in your car. Here I have a 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer that I've been working on for a few months, uh, just in my spare time. And what we've done is we've taken a standard vented enclosure from A-Trend and we've placed it and then we've built paneling all around it to make the trunk seem more complete and to make it look like it's supposed to be there. Now there are limitations to doing an install like this. What you have to do is you have to pick an enclosure that will sit further back inside the trunk because if the enclosure comes past here, it's going to be very hard to panel it. Now this applies to custom enclosures too, so when you build a custom enclosure, you can build the enclosure to the exact specifications you need, you don't have to worry about how wide it is, you only have to worry about how deep it is, and then you can just panel it to finish it off. Now for the most part, this is pretty simple, now that's just one piece over here on top of it, I put 2x4s underneath the enclosure to get the height up because it just sat too low, and then you can see here I've just, I used the table saw and I cut some lines into it just to give it a little bit of an accent. I maintain the A-Trend logo right there. Uh, the trick to do in this one, if you're using carpet, I use carpet because I just it was durable and it covers up a lot of things. Like you don't have to finish off the material as much because of the way of, of its nature. And the reason why I use trunk liner. Now there's two types. You get uh, carpet, which is really fuzzy. And then you're not going to really see these lines, you have to make the lines really wide because the fuzzy stuff's going to really fill it in, even this fills it in. Uh, and the trunk liner just, it's in between, when it comes to material, first you go paint, you have to finish it a lot, vinyl, you have to still finish it quite a bit, then liner, you don't have to finish it off as much to get smooth, and then the really fuzzy carpet stuff. So this is kind of falling in between because when I did these panels, these ones are fiberglass. I don't know if you can tell, it's hard to tell on camera. These actually have a curve to it. I didn't want to put just a flat board. So I made an MDF frame and then I put basically grill cloth inside and I let gravity take over and then I added resin to it and then I started to fill it up and then just to get the shape I wanted. So this one you can probably tell a little bit more. We see it just gives it a more organic look and it, and it follows the contours better of the trunk because this is curved. And then if you go flat, it's just too abrupt. And then down here, uh, just some JL Audio labeling. You know, you do whatever you want. This is two pieces of MDF with plexi in between, and then I just frosted it, and then when you light it up, it just diffuses the light. So it's a quick and easy way to make a prefab enclosure look like it's custom, but then you save the customer some money because you don't have to build it, or if maybe you don't know, you don't want to build a box, you could do something like this. Instead, it's just purely for looks. To see more videos, make sure you check out my channel, AnthonyJ350, and also check out my website at www.gofasthavefun.ca.